Hey guys, welcome back to Fab Rugby for the next part of our incredible day with Loose Heads called Team Talk. All we're doing is getting we're encouraging you to give your friend a call or maybe an old teammate you haven't spoken to for a while, give them a call, see how they're doing, just check in with them. And what we're doing for you is we're giving you some amazing content. So let's get into the next part and in this one we've got a load of Premiership stars doing a quiz. So let's see who the smartest is. Let's go. <laughs> okay then guys, so welcome to the Loose Heads Team Talk <clears throat> Premiership Quiz. Uh, <laughs> <ew>. <laughs> So, so what we're doing at team, uh, with Team Talk, we've teamed up, myself, Fab Rugby, we've teamed up with Loose Heads and we are encouraging people to reach out to their friends they maybe haven't spoken to in a while, as well as teammates they might have played with on the pitch years ago they haven't, haven't spoken to as well. So we're joined by, for this quiz, uh, from, ba from Bath we've got Chris Cook. From Bristol Bears, we've got Callum Sheedy. If you want to give a wave as I go along the name. Uh, Exeter Chiefs, we've got Don, Don Armand. Gloucester, we've got Jamal Ford-Robinson. Harlequins, we've got James Lang. Leicester Tigers, we've got Guy Thompson. London Irish, we've got Ollie Hoskins. Northampton Saints, we've got James Grayson. Sale Sharks, we've got Sam James. Saracens, we've got Alex London. Wasps, we've got Tom Cruise. And Worcester, we've got Jamie Shilcock. Okay, so if you have any questions um, during the quiz, well, if you want me to repeat a question, if it's if we've already gone way past it, I'll do it at the end of the round. Okay. Okay, first round then. Okay, it's general knowledge round straight away. We're going to go straight in with general knowledge. Okay, number one, first round. What is the capital of New Zealand? <laughs> Number two, I'm just going to take um, Number two, what in the animal kingdom is a doe? I'll repeat that one. What in the animal kingdom is a doe? Number three, who is currently number one in the UK top 40? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid question. <laughs> Number four. What temperature centigrade does water boil at? Okay. Number five. Where is the smallest bone in the human body located? <clears throat> Number six, where, where, what does GIF stand for? G-I-F, what does GIF stand for? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even think of anything. <laughs> I'd say there's questions for everybody in this quiz, definitely. <laughs> oh. Number seven of the first round. Which American rapper released the college dropout in 2004? So which American rapper released the college dropout in 2004? And number eight in the, the final, final question in round one. The tombstone pole driver is a finisher made famous by which iconic wrestler? Oh, it's easy that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the tombstone pile driver is a finisher made famous by which iconic wrestler? Smackdown was a game <laughs> that he did that on. <laughs> <laughs> How did we find that round? Uh, Jamal, Jamal, how was your first round? <coughs> yeah, I've nailed that, I reckon. Seven out of eight. Solid. Well, oh. yeah. Strong. <laughs> Jamie, what do you think to your first round? <coughs> Oh, panic. I don't know. I feel like there's questions there that are easy that I might have uh, tripped up on. But okay. <laughs> okay, we'll move on to round two then. This round is food and drink. So, in the first oh, question, 
<laughs> round, <laughs> round one. In the world of beer, what does the acronym of IPA stand for? So in the world of beer, what does the acronym of IPA stand for? <clears throat> Number two, which meat is used in Glamorgan sausages? <laughs> I'll repeat that one. Which meat is used in Glamorgan sausages? Is this a trick question or what? <laughs> I wouldn't poss I couldn't possibly say. you look confused, mate. Let Matilda do for you, I've got a crayon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number three. What type of food is basmati? Yes. <laughs> got one. <laughs> Number four, a screwdriver cocktail. A, a, screw a screwdriver cocktail is orange <laughs> juice, ice, and which spirit? So a, a screwdriver cocktail is orange juice, ice, and which spirit? Okay. Number five, how does paella get its name? Ask for creativity in this. <laughs> so how does paella get its name? It's, it, yeah. Okay, number six. What confectionery product is traditionally bought as a gift from a seaside holiday? Yeah. So what, <laughs> what, confe <laughs> what confectionery products is traditionally bought as a gift from a seaside holiday? Number seven. Bovinophobia is a phobia of what food? I'll repeat that one. Bovinophobia is the phobia of what food? Oh. Number eight. Efes is a drink best associated with which country? Uh, there's me one point. <laughs> <laughs> so e Efes is a drink best associated with which country? Efes. How are you spelling that? How are you spelling that? E-F-E-S. E -F -E -S. Oh. Fuck it. <laughs> get, an, get an answer down. Just have a guess at a country if you're not sure. Very food related. Number nine. <laughs> what, what is the most... Cons Number nine, what is the most consumed manufactured drink in the world? I'll repeat that one. What is the most consumed manufactured drink in the world? And the final question in this round. In the film Forrest Gump, there is a famous quote that life is like a... Okay, that's the end of that round. Callum, how did you find that round? Not good. I've guessed at a few. I'm not sure. I could be 10 out of 10 or I could be 0 out of 10. I'm not sure there. <laughs> Ollie, Ollie, how did you get on in that round? I don't know, mate. I'm a bit of an either, but I don't think I did too well, to be fair. <laughs> okay, we're moving on to the third round now. This, this is movies, TV and gaming. So, third round is... Movies, TV, and gaming. Okay. Uh, first question then. In which year was the popular video game, uh, video game Fortnite first released? So in which year was the popular video game Fortnite first released? I think how long I've been playing it. 
that game. <laughs> okay. Number two. Which film was the first to be recognized as part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? So I'll repeat that one. Which film was the first to be recognized as part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Just pick one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, number three. Which 2014 Seth Rogen film caused the North Korean government to threaten action against the United States? Which 2014 Seth Rogen <coughs> film caused the North Korean government to threaten action against the United States? Okay, number four. The six main stars of Friends appeared in all 236 episodes. Who is the next most regular character to appear in the show? So the six main stars of Friends appeared in all 236 episodes. Who is the next most regular character to appear in the show? <laughs> you can give the character name, not the actor name there. Yeah, just the, just 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 the character name will do. Uh. Okay, number five. What is the name of the talking snowman in Disney's Frozen? Number six. In which fictional town is Coronation Street set in? So number six was in which fictional town is Coronation Street set in? Number seven then. Nintendo began as a, com as a company selling which products? So Nintendo began as, as a company selling which products? Number eight. What is the highest grossing Marvel movie without the words Avenger, Avengers in the title? So what is the highest grossing Marvel movie without the word Avengers in the title? Number nine then. In Harry Potter, what is the effect of the Obliviate spell? So in Harry Potter, what is the effect of the Obliviate spell? Cruzy looks so confused. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10 then, which video game holds the record for having, for having the highest budget ever to produce. So which video game holds the record for having the highest budget ever to produce? And that was the final question in that round. Okay. James, how was that round for you, James? Yeah, that was a good round, to be fair. I'm useless at quizzes, but I thought that was all right. <laughs> Chris, how did you go on in that round? Yeah, I thought that would be a good round for me, but um, no, I don't think it will be in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, how was that round for you? Uh, probably my worst round, to be honest with you. I'm okay. useless with any, any sort of gaming, so. Okay. Well, it's important to stay connected, especially during these times where people are isolated, feeling stressed, and worried whether it's better job, family, or friends. So for me, picking up the phone, uh, Zoom, Skype, talking to friends and family is really important and um, it allows you to find out how they're doing and um, allows them to interact with a different face to find out how you are, removes the worry from them. So for me, um, I think if we can all make sure we, we be good friends um, and contact each other. No, number uh, four, the fourth round is either or. I'm going to give you two options and you have to tell me which or you have to write down which one it is, okay? So... We 
cricket was first played in the 16th century or 17th century? So cricket was first played in the 16th century or the 17th century? <coughs> Number two, cats can be allergic to humans. True or false? Number two was cats can be allergic to humans. True or false? Okay, number three. What is the national animal of Scotland? The Loch Ness Monster or the Unicorn? <laughs> so what is the national animal of Scotland? The Loch Ness Monster or the Unicorn? I want it to be Unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, number four. What was the first soft drink in space? So what was the first soft drink in space? Coca-Cola or Pepsi? And the final one in this round. Approximately how many grapes go into a bottle of wine? 700, 7,000 or 70,000? So how many grapes go into a bottle of wine approximately? 700, 7,000 or 70,000? How big's the bottle? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go standard. How was that round, Dom? Um, I thought I could treat it like multiple choice, but... I don't know if that's the right approach. You always just put the you just put either A for the whole thing or B for the whole thing. So, oh. how was that, Alex? For you? Yeah, predominantly just guessing. To be honest, <laughs> probably poor. Okay, the final round then is the ruggers round. So rugby round. Here we go then. <laughs> Who scored the who scored the first try of the 2019-20 Premiership season? So who scored the first try of this Premiership season? Are they on this call? Uh, no, they're not. No, <laughs> <laughs> but but they, one of their teammates is. That's the best way to say it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Try and think back to what the first game of the season was. It was, a, it, was a it was a Friday night, if that helps. Oh. How's oh. it down? It, was a it, my an it does change my answer, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, I have nothing. Okay, number, <laughs> number two then. Who got the first yellow card of this season? Number two, who got the first yellow card of this season? Is he in this call? He's not, but he, again, he's a teammate one of, his one teammates, of you guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah. in the same game, innit? Classic. Yeah. <laughs> was it the same game? No, it wasn't the same game. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number three. Hampstead Football Club split into two different Premiership rugby clubs. Name the two. You get half a point per answer. So Hampstead Football Club split into two Premiership rugby clubs. But can you name the two? <clears throat> okay. Number four, then. The first rugby football international was played on the 27th of March, 1871, between Scotland and England in Edinburgh. But what was the full-time score? Okay, number five in this, in this uh, round. What year did the first Rugby Sevens tournament take place at Murrayfield? So what year did the first Rugby Sevens tournament take place at Murrayfield? Okay. 
Number six, there's two more questions left. In what year did the Tri-Nations change to, uh, to include Argentina and become the rugby championship? In what year did the Tri-Nations change to include Argentina and become the rugby championship? And the final question of the quiz today. What year was Premiership Rugby founded? <laughs> so that last one was in what year was Premiership Rugby founded? How was, how was that round, James? Oh, can you... I can't hear you for some reason. It's talking, we're all thinking. <laughs> We've done so bad. <laughs> I've literally just split Hampstead into Hamp and Stead. That's my answer for the device. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So uh, what we're doing today, guys, if you're just watching along on the stream, we are doing a thing called Team Talk. We're encouraging you to get in touch with your teammates and kind of... Yeah, reach out to people during this difficult time. Um, if I can just chat to, I'll come to Alex. Just how important is it to kind of reach out to people and keep <laughs> connected to your friends and stuff during this time? I think it's pretty important. Um, obviously, we've been seven weeks or eight weeks, whatever it is now, in, in lockdown. And I think everyone's situation is very different. Um, obviously, I, I've been quite lucky. I've come up to stay at my parents, so you're around people, but. I know a lot of people who are stuck in their, in their house on their own and um, I think you'd be surprised how much isolation has, a, has an impact on people when they get taken out of their routine. So um, I think it's really important to stay on top of your mates and check in with them every so often. So Jamal, let's, what have you been doing to keep yourself entertained during this uh, lockdown period? Um, just making a twat of myself really. <laughs> <laughs> for the most part where did, where did where did you first get the idea to kind of become a, I'll, I'll call you a star now an insta a, a, a star in the world of tiktok i am community you... player of the month so yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm surprised the awards not in the background to be honest with you just like i've so, got it here if you want it <laughs> what is the capital city of new zealand i'll come to oh it's disappeared now i'll come to chris first Auckland. Incorrect. Tom. <laughs> Wellington. Wellington is correct. <laughs> okay, number two then. What in the animal kingdom is a doe? So, what in the animal kingdom is a doe? Ollie? How you doing? Incorrect. Close. Uh, I will come to James. Uh, he's gone I've... again. Well, which James? I'll come to uh, James Lang. Oh, uh, I put bird. I mean, no. that's wrong. That's so wrong. I know. It's stuck in deer, isn't it? It's a baby so deer, isn't it? Yeah, it's a baby deer. It's a female so deer. It's, 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 a, it's a female deer. It's a female deer. That's what you were looking for. Yes. Like, female deer. <laughs> bird. Oh, yeah. Lockdown's getting to me. <laughs> okay, number three. Who is currently number one in the UK? I'm going to come to Grace for this one. Um, a stab in the dark, uh, Anne Marie. Incorrect. So let's go, Callum. Drake's always number one, so I put him. It is indeed Drake. Well done. It's Drake with oh. Toosie Slide. I don't know what song, though. It's Toosie Slide. That's the one you were looking for, that one. Uh, number four, then. What temperature centigrade does water boil at? Dom. Uh, stab in the dark at 97. Uh, let's go, Sam. A uh, hundred it was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Tom, <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you all right? <laughs> hey, did you know that, Jamal? Well, I've got it down here, so yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, number, <laughs> number five, where is the smallest bone in the human body located? Jamie. Uh, the ear. Correct, it is indeed the ear. Okay, number six. What does GIF stand for? GIF stand for? Jamal. Graphics interchange format. Correct. Well done. How <laughs> did he get that? 
He graphics interchange format. <laughs> Human. <laughs> Number seven. Which American rapper released the college dropout in 2004? Let's go, Callum. Kanye West. Correct. It was Kanye West. Number eight. The tombstone, tombstone pile driver is a finisher made famous by which iconic wrestler? Ollie? Undertaker. Say again? Undertaker. Correct. It was The Undertaker. Well done. Okay, let's tie your scores in the first round if you can, please. It was out of eight possible answers. So I'll come to Guy. Six. Six. Not having that. That's fake news. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's we'll that? All right, guys, six. Don, how many did we get? Uh, three. Three? <laughs> Chris? <I got> three. <laughs> yeah, three. Three. Yes. Three. Yes. Jamie? Jamie? Uh, six. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Tom? Tom? Four. Uh, Alex? Four as well. Uh, Sam? Seven. Seven? Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's all going to go downhill from here. Callum? Six. Uh, Jamal? Five. Uh, Jamie? Uh, James? Uh, three. Three. Ollie? Four. And Grace? Three. Okay, early leader then is Sam with seven. Okay, moving on to the second <clears throat> round. Okay, in the world of beer, what does the acronym IPA stand for? Uh, let's go, Don. Independent PE Association. I couldn't get the middle one. <laughs> okay, Alex. Is it Indian Pale Ale? India Pale Ale is correct. Well done. I was way off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number two. Which meat is used in Glamorgan sausages, guy? I said pork. You're being correct. Let's go, Sam. I said pork as well, so I've, I've messed up here. Let's go, yeah. ja let's go, James. Uh, Which one? Uh, no, uh, Say again. Pork as well, unfortunately. The answer you were looking. The answer you were looking for Jeez. is cheese. None. Cheese. None. Who got None. that? <laughs> Who got, che Who got cheese? What? I wrote a quiz last week and that was one of the questions I asked in it. Oh. Ah. Fuck it, hell, buddy. He's from Glamorgan, isn't he? <laughs> 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 okay. What type of food is basmati? Uh, Tom Cruise. Uh, rice. Correct, it is rice. That's everyone's one point for the round, that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At least that's not cheese as well. <laughs> a screwdriver cocktail is orange juice, ice, and which spirit, Ollie? Vodka. It is indeed vodka. Yeah. Okay, number five. How does, pa how does Paella get its name, James? No idea, didn't answer it. Uh, Jamal? <laughs> Jamal? No, nothing. Uh, Callum? It's something to do with the dish. It's either cooked in or served, and I wrote cooked in. It is the pan that it is cooked in. Well oh. done. Oh. Is there a point uh, for uh, the way it's cooked? <laughs> yeah, I guess yeah, it, is. it is. It is. It is. Yeah. Yes. We'll, be, we'll be generous. Wow. You need it, Cruzy. <laughs> Mate, trust me. <laughs> okay. Bovinophobia is the phobia of what food? Uh, Sam? We skipped uh, one. We skipped one. Oh, skip sorry. One. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Come okay, on, number... Quizmaster. Oh, one job, mate. One oh, job. Sorry. Fuck yourself. <laughs> number... <laughs> okay. Number six. Calm down. <laughs> which, which confectionery product is traditionally bought as a gift from a seaside holiday? Jamal. Stick a rock. Correct. <sighs> well done. Yes. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Bovinophobia is the phobia of what food, Sam? I like grapes, but I went vino. Chris? Banana? Don? What was that one? The beef, like cows. Alex? Damn it. Vegetable? 
Vegetables it is, correct. Well oh, done if you put vegetables. It's the fear of vegetables. healthy food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, FS is a drink best associated with which country? Callum? I put Switzerland. Uh, Guy? I put Greece. Close, very close. Jamie? Portugal. Tom? I said Mexico. James Grayson? I went Mexico as well. Uh, James Lang? Turkey? It is Turkey. Well done. Complete guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is the most consumed manufactured drink in the world, Don? Coca Cola. Incorrect. Oh, come Chris. on. <laughs> Jeez. Pepsi. Incorrect. Oh. Uh, let's go, Sam James. I got Coca Cola as well. Alex Lewington. Tea. Correct, it is. Uh, yes, Lewis. Fucking, he's got oh, everything. <laughs> it's tea oh, manufactured. Of course it is. You just pick it off a plant. <laughs> tea you drink in. <laughs> Green. Just put leaves oh. in, a, in a cup and put boiling water on it. 97 degrees. <laughs> okay number 10 in this round then in the film forrest gump there is a famous quote that life is like a what callum box of chocolates it is indeed correct well done let's add up your scores in that round then okay guy let's go for you five okay let's go dom Two. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go, Chris. <laughs> Five. Ah. Oh. So you eight. Uh, let's go for Jamie. Jamie. Seven. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> How many did you say, Jamie? Seven. Yeah. You can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tom. Six. Okay, Alex Lunsom. Seven. Eleven, let's go. Sam James. Five. So it's uh, Callum. Six. Let's go, Jamal. Five. Uh, James Lang. Six. Let's go, Ollie. Three. How many? Three, mate. Three, okay, seven. And Grace. Five for me. So that is it. The leader currently, we've got joint, uh, so no, is Jamie Shilcock at the minute with 13. So going into the next round, number three, round three. Movies, TV, and gaming. Okay. In which year was the popular video game Fortnite first released? Let's go, Tom Cruise. I'm stabbing the dark 2017. Correct. Well done. It was. Get in. <laughs> okay, number two. Which film was the first to be recognised as part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Jamal. Uh, the first Thor. Incorrect. Let's go. James Lang. Iron Man. Correct. It was Iron Man. Well done. Okay, which number three, which 2014 <clears throat> Seth Rogen film caused the North Korean government to threaten action against the United States? James Shilcock. The interview. It is indeed the interview. Well done. <laughs> what a movie. <laughs> <laughs> you ever feel like a plastic paper bag? <laughs> <laughs> number four, the six stars of Friends appeared in all 236 episodes. Who is the next most regular character to appear in the show? Sam James. Uh, the, the, I want to wild the coffee guy. Is he called Garth or something like that? <laughs> I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you half a point because you, you can't, can't give him that. You can't, can't give him that. that. Come on, he doesn't that. know that by now. <laughs> Chris, Chris, Chris Cook. Let's hear it. Is it Gunther? Correct. Yeah. It is Gunther. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, number five. What is the name of the talking snowman in Disney's Frozen? Let's go, Tom Cruise. Is it Olaf? Correct. Well done. If I got that wrong, honestly. 
<laughs> Number six, in which fictional town is the Coronation Street set in? Let's go, uh, James Grayson. No answer for this one, unfortunately. Okay, let's go, Sam James then. I oh, don't, I'm a local one, I don't know, but I've not written anything down. <laughs> uh, let's go, Jamie Shilcox. Oh, no idea, who watches Corey? Guy? <laughs> No, I just put Rover's return. <laughs> <laughs> Callum Sheedy. Weatherfield. Correct, it is Weatherfield. Oh, Plus it's Coronation oh, Street these days. Oh dear. Sheedy's got too much time on his hands. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven then. In, uh, Nintendo began as a company selling which products? Uh, let's go Dom. Mushrooms. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> 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 Alex Lewinson. Game Boys. Incorrect. Tom Cruise. Oh, I've completely missed. I put posters. <laughs> no, no, incorrect. Guy. I should have put mushrooms. I said watch it. <laughs> incorrect. Chris Cook. The printers. Incorrect. Sam James. No, it was washing machines. Yeah. Ollie Hoskins. Uh, James Grayson. I'll say game, boys. Uh, any, other, any other answers? Video games? It was playing cards. That's what you were looking for there. Mm. Playing cards. There you go. Okay, number eight. Number eight. What is the highest grossing Marvel movie without the words Avengers in the title? Uh, let's go. Jamie Shilcock. Uh, went Black Panther. It is indeed correct. Well done. Good answer. <laughs> Number nine in Harry Potter, what is the effect of the Obliviate spell? Don, uh, is it memory loss? Removes me memories. Yeah, I'll give you that. Remove memories. Okay. The final one in this one. Then, which video game holds the record for having the big highest budget ever to produce? Jamal. No idea. Uh, James Lang. Got cod. No, incorrect. James Grayson. Call of Duty as well. Uh, let's go, Alex Lewinson. Is it Grand Theft Auto? What number? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, give it to him. Give it to him. That's good. <laughs> yeah, correct. It's good. It's oh, good. fair play, Louis. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 5, it was. Okay, we're on to the fourth round then. Oh, we need to get scores for that one. So, um, let's start from the top. Guy? Six. Uh, Don? Five. Uh, yeah, uh, Chris. Four. So, Jamie. Eight. Oh, oh. He's flying. Tom is fishy going on. Tom, Tom Cruise. Five. Uh, Alex Lewington. Three. Okay, Sam James. Four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Callum Five Jamal One What was that uh, Jamal? <laughs> J James <laughs> What James Lang? Uh, five Ollie Three And Grace Three Three Okay so the leader currently is Jamie at the moment on 21. Okay. Wow. Next round then, fourth round. Either or. Cricket was first played in the 16th century or 17th century. Let's go. Sam James. 16th. It is indeed, correct. Well done, 16th century. <laughs> Number two, cats can be allergic to humans. Ollie Hoskins. Oh, it's false. It is true. Yes. Okay, number three. What is the national animal animal of Scotland? Guy. Loch Ness monster. Incorrect. It's the unicorn. It can't be a unicorn. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>, now. <laughs> number four. What was the first soft drink in space? Alex Lewington. Coke. Coca-Cola is indeed. 
Number five, the final one in this one. Approximately how many grapes go into a bottle of wine? Callum Sheedy. 7,000. Incorrect. So who wants another guess? You've got 770,000. Who's going to go? Let's go. James Lang. 70,000. Incorrect. It is only 700. 700. <laughs> right, add your scores up on that one and we'll finish. We'll get those scores again. So Was that banter about... Um... Four. Unicorn being Scotland, or no, that gen genuine Scotland. is no, that genuine. Oh, it's 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 passport. I thought it was, yeah, Jesus, I'm <laughs> guy. How many guy? How many in that round? Four, four, 21. Uh, Dom, how is fucking unicorn? <laughs> <laughs> Chris, <laughs> five, uh, Jamie, three, 24. Uh, Cru uh, Tom Cruise? Three. 18. Uh, Alex Lewington? How many, sorry? Two. Two, okay. Uh, uh, Sam James? Four. Four. Well done. That's funny. Uh, Callum? Four. Uh, Jamal? Four. James Lang? Two. Ollie? Two? Yeah. Two, cool. So, and Grace? Three. Three. Okay, right, into the final round we go then. Ruggers, so rugby quit, rugby round. Okay, who scored the first try of the 2019-20 season? Uh, let's go Don. I said Nathan Hughes, no idea. Let's go Chris. Zach Mercer. Let's go Guy. I went Woodburn. Jamie? I went Nathan Hughes as well. Tom Cruise? I put in Batoyo. Uh, Alex? Morahan? Yes. It is Luke Morahan. Well done. Someone loves rugby. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute <laughs> code. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, then. I'll be impressed anyone gets this one. Number two, who got the first yellow card of this season? Jamal? I didn't get an answer. James Lang. No answer. Sam Jones. Nomination, John Ross. Surely he's got to be up there. <laughs> it wasn't. Alex Lewington. Head player. Say again? No, it wasn't. It's that right club, though. So if you've got Gloucester, anybody got a guess of a Gloucester player? Owen Ackerman. It was Freddie Clark. There you go. That's who you were looking for there. In the 78th minute versus Sale Sharks. Okay, this one is worth two half points, this one. Okay, Hampstead Football Club split to create two Premiership Rugby Clubs. <clears throat> Can you name the two Premiership Rugby Clubs? I'm going to go to Guy for this one. Oh, we're Wasps and Irish? You get half a point. Let's go, Don. I missed when you said they split to do two Premiership Clubs, so I guessed Hampton instead. <laughs> <laughs> Chris? Oh, I said Richmond and London Irish. <laughs> Incorrect. So, Sam James. Sarries in London Irish. Incorrect. Alex Lewington. Yeah, I've got Sarries in Queens. You get half a point. Tom Cruise. So, what's left? Yeah, I put Irish and Wasps, but is it... You get, you get half a point. It's because yeah. it's, it's Wasps and Harlequins. Okay, the first, number Again. four, the first rugby football international was played on the 27th of March, 1871, between Scotland and England in Edinburgh. But what was the full-time score? Callum? I put 10 all. Jamie? 9-5. Jamal? 3 all. You're getting close as we're going down. So anybody got lower than 3 all? Oh, it wasn't. Nil, nil, nil. Say again? Nil, nil. I went 3 nil. Nil. One nil was the score you were oh, looking for. Oh, went nil nil. <laughs> so, number five. What year did the first Rugby Sevens tournament take place at Murrayfield? Uh, let's go, Ollie Hoskins. Say again. No, uh, James Lang. I think nineteen eighty. Getting closer. Anybody got below that? Nineteen seventy. Oh. Anything above that? 
<laughs> oh, if we get it now, do we get a point? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll give it, I'll give you, if anybody can get it now. 1975. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. 77. <laughs> yeah. All did, yeah, we all get one. Yeah, a, everyone have a point there. Well, <laughs> apart, apart from Jamie, you're not allowed any more points. <laughs> and Guy, he's cheating. <laughs> Number six, in what year did the Tri Nations change to include Argentina and become the rugby championship? Chris Cook? Uh, I guess 09. Sam James? Uh, 2012. It is indeed correct. Mm. Well, uh, one off. Norse. Absolutely <laughs> Norse. <laughs> <laughs> and the final one then of the quiz today. What year was Premiership Rugby founded? Let's go, Guy. 87. Correct. On the money. Well Damn. done. 1987. I had it in a quiz the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so thank you everybody for joining in on the quiz today. So let's go from the bottom up how we finished today. So we had two joint lasts. We had Ollie Hoskins yes. and Don Armand came in last place on 50. Okay, on, on uh, 16 is Grace. So we've got James Grayson. Uh, well done. And then on Jamal as well. Jamal is, sorry, 15 and a half. So you've got 15 and a half, Jamal. Thank you. That. Uh, Chris Cook, you got 17. Then we've got Tom Cruise and Alex Lewington on 18 and a half. Oh, we're all tied right that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got, so who's left in? Put your hand up if I haven't done yours. If I haven't put yours. So we've got Callum, Sam. Guy, you got 22 and a half. Okay. Sam, you got 21 and a half. Callum, you got 23 and a half. Oh. Okay. Tom Cruise, you've got 18 and a half. Who haven't I done? Just Jamie, isn't it? <laughs> Jamie. Jamie, you got 24 and a half. Well done, Jamie. Well played. Very good. Guys, okay. thank, thank you very much for joining us and thanks everybody for watching along for this. And uh, yeah, check out the other stuff that we're doing throughout the day for Team Talk. So thanks, guys. Cheers, Bye, guys. Boys. Hey, thank cheers, you. Yeah. Thanks.